Okay, and this is how we uh, get royal jelly. Now, this is a little vial which I've started putting royal jelly in. I can use this for multiple things as well as consume it if I wanted to. But uh, I just use these little jars. Got my toothpicks. Now, this right here is a queen right there. And I have aborted these queens because they are African. And they, they have a percentage of African um, genes in them. So, what I do is I take my toothpick and I open up these, uh, these cells. Now, right after the queen leaves, she leaves uh, royal jelly in the bottom as well. But what I've done is uh, I'm actually aborting these queens, so I remove the larva and I remove the royal jelly like that that's in the bottom of the cell put in here. Now I can use this to force a hive to make queens as well just by finding uh, freshly laid eggs and taking a little of this royal jelly and smearing it inside of the cell of a, uh, of a freshly laid egg which then will make the bees start feeding that baby royal jelly producing a queen. Now what I can do is I can wait for these guys to hatch to do this, but like I said, we're euthanizing these and aborting these queens because I don't uh, I don't want them to hatch. They are uh, African hybrids, so we don't want these guys uh, in the population. So here we're opening this up to a queen on the inside, as you can see. I can get this open enough for you. She's in there and she's still alive. She's not ready to hatch yet. I've had one already hatch on these as I was just getting ready to do these. But here's our queen. So now our queen is out. So this is a queen larva. Or she's a pupa now. She's already past her state. This is a queen. Oh, she's slippery. Anyway, so that's her right there in all her holiness. And I said she is not hatched yet, so I'm boarding her early. Okay, now if we look in the bottom of this, we can also take a pair of scissors or something, cut this open because the, the uh, royal jelly would be down low in the cell in the bottom. See, not all of them have a lot of extra royal jelly. This one has very little in it. I think she has consumed most of it. If her royal jelly is gone. So, but that's how we extract the royal jelly from these cells. So, find another cell to look at. Okay, we have this double right here. There's two. So, now I could open these from the bottom. You know, just rip into the bottom. And got some ants got to this one. And there's the queen. Already kind of damaged her. She's not looking so good. It's not a good queen, but there's a lot of royal jelly in this one. I can get away from the little fire ants that get on here because I set this down outside for a minute with all these queen cells in it and there's a little honey on the exterior I'm sure and they're smelling it, the ants are coming for it. So that's how you get, now this is a very time consuming tedious task to uh, extract royal jelly so that's why royal jelly is, well real royal jelly is expensive. You gotta watch out, there's a lot of stuff coming out of China. It's not really royal jelly. Uh, it's got other stuff in it, it's not pure. In fact, uh, you'll see there's a, a lot of that going on. Companies stating that it's 100% pure and it's not. This stuff is very labor intensive to get, therefore, it's. Um, 
not easy to produce. As people who particularly just produce royal jelly, they're a lot better at it. Uh, and that's by coating the inside of the cells a little bit with this to make them produce a whole bunch of queens. So there you go. That's pretty much how you do it. And here we have nice royal jelly inside our vial. And uh, I'll, I use this just to uh, instigate queens. I don't actually consume that. I have store-bought pills I consume just because I don't like the taste of it. So uh, I like to have that gel coating on the outside so I can just swallow it. But uh, there you go. That's uh, royal jelly extraction from uh, queen cells. Uh, this is from an African hive, so I have no problem euthanizing these queens as I did with uh, this one, this one, and that one. And that's it. Alright, here's one other tool that um, I used for doing this. I didn't know I still had it around. I just found it again. Um, this is something I used to extract my uh, my royal jelly out of my cells better than a toothpick is uh, this. This is actually used for, I don't use it for this, but it's actually used for cleaning under your fingernails. And uh, you can buy these at the store, so you beekeepers, when you want to do this, this is the magical tool for this. It's got a little flat spot right here that you can use to put your finger on to grip. Then you can have the back part stick out a little, put your finger there to hold it. And then you have this neat little spoon. So you can take the, the piece where you're getting the royal jelly out of and scoop it right out like that. This one I've already almost cleaned all out, but... These are yielding a good amount of royal jelly each. But there you go. So there's your royal jelly, and I take my little jar and put my royal jelly in. And as you can see, it's working its way down. But that's the royal jelly. So, there you go. So now, here, I have opened up the uh, royal jelly. So now I have a uh, a lot more of it for you. So there you go. And I removed that out of, uh, I think, about 12 cells. So, I got a good bit of royal jelly here. And this will be used to produce more queens when I want them. Um, all I do is find a freshly laid egg and uh, apply some of this royal jelly to the inside of that comb. And you want to go like every three cells or so, four cells, to keep them spread apart. But I could produce a whole lot of queens with what I have here. Just putting a little dabble do you inside each cell and then that'll produce each one, to, well that'll make each one into a queen. The bees will immediately start feeding royal jelly. And then they'll put a ton of royal jelly in there and then I can just remove the larvas like this and I have royal jelly. Very simple. Thanks for joining Wayne's Bees in our uh, royal jelly extraction. Again, this came from an African hive, therefore I have no problem aborting these queens. Um, if I did not abort these queens, this would be, well, there's more here, but there are a few more, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah, twelve, that would have been 12 African hybrid hives that would have went out because the uh, genetic strain of African was in these guys. Very aggressive bees. But this is what we salvaged from it, which is some royal jelly, which will do us good. And this won't make an African queen. This is just royal jelly. And I want to get this out of the light. It's not too good with light shining on it, so I'm going to go uh, put this away. Uh, have a good one.